Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series. And Father has something to say. I think I looked at this at the end of the previous episode, but it's been a long time for me, so I'm gonna read this again. <laughs> we need to start planting the seeds. You can buy seeds at the goods market on the Festival Green to the south of the village center. The market is uh, there the third and tenth day of the season. Here's three brass to buy some seeds. Thank you. Anything else? After we've picked up the seeds, feel free to explore it for a while. The market only comes around once a week, so it's a good opportunity to try and sell anything you've gathered. Also, take this one brass. There should be a game or two you can have a go on while you're down there. Just be sure to be home before it's dark, as we need to plant those seeds. Anything else? Being the pigs and wanting the crops might not be the most exciting work in the world, but it's good, honest living. Unless you're feeding a dishonest pig, I suppose. That's more of a gray area. <laughs> Have a dandelion. <laughs> Who knows what that'll do? So I'm gonna gather um, stuff around the farm. Give the pig a food. Yep, there we go. Alright, so let's also check our change log. Adjust the fish spawning and additional proverbs and traits for newer items. Fixed a crash for spilling honey. Oh. Another crash, adjusted the serving area for the blacksmith. A couple of fixes in the end of May. Additional star rating setup for items. Nightberries don't stop day one cutscene. That's good. <laughs> NPCs won't ask for items they don't like for favors. Because I think they added in the whole like you learn they like things if they ask for it and they like it. So it would make sense that they wouldn't ask for things they disliked because it might take away from your relationship. <laughs> uh, oh, so now you can't use the mine to exit to the farm without having the key. That's been a thing for a while. Fix for wisps lighting the lamps in some circumstances. Hmm. Fix for whistle root and dreamer's neck appearing all times of the day. No! <laughs> I should have played more before the fix! <laughs> Alright, so it's mostly fixes. Uh, do you have anything to say there? Siblin? Uh, I didn't mean to gift. Kitzel. Uh, how are you? Oh, he has a favor. You need a nightberry. Uh, decline. Fair enough. Sorry, I just don't know if I have any or if I'll ever have any. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you're gonna disappear someday or not. <laughs> Alright, so we've gotten most of the stuff off of the farm. Okay, so now let's head down to the festival green. The main use of the statue- okay, so this is going on about the statues for the failover. Um, the main use of the statues is to make daily offerings to each goddess with the view of gaining their favor on goddess day. Every offering has a value to each goddess and at the end of that week their favor can be gained on various blessings. Um, making an apple or offering an apple is enough to facilitate travel which we've got. A lot of Quillians don't bother with this kind of travel possibly because they can't fit in the hole. <laughs> um, has gifting been different? Alright let's travel I mean, I guess we'll go over here. <laughs> Ooh. We've got, uh, the sips. Ah, uh, yes, this one. <laughs> Always a good one. Just, just know so that his chickens have been through some things. <laughs> Alright, here we are at the Festival Green. We have the... What is it? We've got this. Dandelions show no fear. They stand proud all the year. Oh, here's another one. Kukudu will only appear in three seasons of the year. Okay. Uh, if I had to guess, winter is probably the one it doesn't show up in. Oop, here's another note. The first three seasons of the year see strawberries growing below the trees. Thank you. We've got a pig auction here. Not one going, but that's where it'll happen. Nope, a book. Okay, firstly, on Goddess Day, find a goddess statue and interact, select worship, present the offering bowl in your inventory of re relevant 
items. Each goddess represents a certain aspect of life, and each has likes and dislikes for what they want offered. Uh, when you select an item and place it in a bowl, you may notice yellow or red arrows. Yellow means positive, red means negative. Ah, okay, so five star item will give you five points. However, for each item you place, you lose points with the adjacent goddesses. So a two star item gives two plus points, but a negative one to each adjacent goddess. Thus, you must try to carefully balance towards your needs and try to reduce the impact of negative points. So go forth and make your offerings and may the goddesses smile on your carrots. <laughs> Alright, so dad told us- no, yes, father, no, uncle, uncle, he's an uncle now. He told us to uh, play a mini game. Alright. Aww. There's variants now? Why are you throwing off to the side so bad? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Can I? Oh, there we go. Primrose! It's like, do I need the sickle? I don't even have one yet, I don't think. Mapstone! I wonder what that is. There's something purple over there. Oh, I see. It's just kind of like a uh, shrubbery. Cuckoo do? Oh. The problem with inventing flowers is the lack of reference for puns. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm so used to the little like square appearing to warn you you're leaving an area and it just didn't appear. <laughs> it's like, is this something I don't recognize? Can I reach that? First I want to get a fish. Firefish. How could it possibly exist? Let's try this again. Ah, oh, we're so close. I don't know if there's something that extends our reach. Eh. Or if um. Oh, I'm probably being silly. <laughs> or if I just need to walk. Old Jacob's house. Winter's bite is far too sore for tomatoes to be eaten raw. <laughs> I love the sun rays. Alright, let's go back to what we were supposed to be doing. Oh, hello. Druida has a lovely pair. Bill folk like to stand and stare. So I'm trying to see if they sell anything but carrots. Not that I'm seeing. Oh yeah, there's some. I want to talk to that minigame. Okay, so we'll grab a pack of carrots. And a pack of cabbage. And then I may sell two of my firefish. Ooh, we have 13 apples. Can we sell these? Let's go for uh, these for three brass. Sold. Interesting stuff you got. Oh, I so little. <laughs> it's weird seeing everyone before they age up. I think maybe I'm selling this for too little because they're not bidding for it. <laughs> but you know what? Take the gassy apples. I don't want them. I don't think I'll ever get over how much better it is to run one of these stalls than it is to own a store. <laughs> I love the principle of it, but it is just not lucrative. <laughs> so let's get another carrot seed and another carrot. Sorry if I sound stuffed up. I'm sneezing a lot and I think there must be like um I think I might be having allergies. Is there nothing left here? Can you all move? So that Leave Thanks. Alright we got three of each. Uh did we map this region? I don't think we did. Alright I'm gonna try to find the other map stone. This is a pretty spot. More firefish. Ooh, there's a sneaky fish over here somewhere. I saw its little explanation point. I just feel like I'm missing something obvious. <laughs> oh, maybe it's over here. Hey, mapped the region. Alright, now to head home. Oh god, I don't have my fast travel home. <laughs> 
guess I'll walk. I have 13 apples. Oh, I forgot. We need to interact with the goddess stones. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, let's go to Druda's Cross. And we're home. Let's see if we need to talk to Father before tending to the garden. Hey, you. Do you want an apple? Uh, beautiful seeds. Now you can see how good it feels to watch something you've planted yourself grow. Just stick them in the soil patches and give them a good soak. Is that it? Yep. Greetings. How are you? Not feeling very well. Uh, how about... A really nice strawberry. Secrets? You need to be stronger to uproot the best pumpkins. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what seeds did you get? Did Uncle Bill tell you to use the watering can? Because you got to water them every day or they'll dry up and stop growing. That must be what happened to me. Or we'd have a whole bunch of chocolate plants by now. <laughs> you just plant a chocolate bar. I want to hear about the dream I had. It's a bit fuzzy now. But I was walking through the woods and this voice kept telling, talking to me. I think it said I was going to live forever. Isn't that silly? Yes. But did he did he go by fair weather? Twig? Pot? <laughs> Don't trust any of those. <laughs> How are you? Feeling tired? Do you have any gossip? I ate some dandelion soup last night for supper and the evening dragged on. I forget now that might actually add stuff even though it's like a repeat to me. <laughs> All right, let's grab these cabbages and carrots and get these things planted. Those look different than those. What are you? Are you intruders? How does that happen? I don't know if it's been a long time since I've planted carrots, but I feel like that looks like a different seed. <laughs> like the start of it looks different. <laughs> Hopefully we're not going to need to plant anything else <laughs> for a little bit. Uh, do we have the other bucket? Okay, so we have the pickaxe. We've got the torch on here. Watering can. The other bucket. Starting to get my hot bar filled again. A mysterious lens. A Oh, we got that in the- on the river? Right in there. So we need this guy. Do we need to fill it? I don't remember. Okay, those are watered. Oh, we're gonna have to water every day. I forgot that was a perk I had. Alright. Everything is watered. Perfect. Anything on the side of the house here? No. All right. Feeling sleepy. I'm gonna go up here and see if there's whistle root. I think it's something that happens only like late at night. Which we may not be allowed to be awake for. Yeah. No! <laughs> Dang it. I wanted to see- it looked like father had something to say. Oh, what seeds did you get? Uh, yeah. Talked about that. I wonder what the rest of our brothers and sisters are doing right now. I bet they're so jealous we got to leave, but maybe a bit sad too. Probably. Eh, well there, sleepyhead. I didn't really have much for you to do today, but it would be good if you would deliver some milk to old Mother Hubbard over in Candlewitch Cottage. She's the master cook of Quill, so might be able to give you a few tips. I don't mean carrot tips. <laughs> it's quite a long walk, so we'll do you some good. Just use a tin bucket on old butterscotch there to fill it with milk. Otherwise, the day is your own. Take, take care out there. Wow, we're free! But I think that's going to be where I end this episode. I've been in... Obviously, I over-recorded last episode, I think. I had to split that into two. No, was that the one before? 
Anyway, I've been over recording quite a bit recently, and a part of it for this one is because I'm used to there being a lot of stuff I cut out. Whereas that really isn't the case at the beginning of the game, because there's a bunch of new stuff, and this is stuff we haven't seen in it, sometimes years. I've been doing this series for like two years now, which is mind boggling. <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.